most amazing horse breeds in the world. Arabian Horse Check out one of the most amazing horse breeds in the world, the Arabian Horse. There's a famous legend associated with it that tells about a story where Muhammad sent many horses to find an oasis to bring water and then call them back before they got to the water location. Only five horses came back. Furthermore, they were mixed, resulting in the breeding of the Arabian horse. Horse's origins date back to the 7th century. The most enviable characteristics of this horse are endurance, speed, intelligence, and kindness. A lot of light horses nowadays also have those qualities and they owe them to the Arabian horse breed. This one is medium size, but it's very strong nevertheless. Arabian horses can have a variety of colors ranging from brown to white, but their skin is black without exception. Black skin serves as protection from intense sunlight exposure. Moon and the Eagle, price $2.1 million. Moon and the Eagle is an event racing horse. He has won 10 out of the 14 races that he's competed in. Moonin set the record for two races that he competed in. The 440-yard dash at Remington Park took him only 20.8 seconds, while he completed the 440-yard at Hialeah Park in 21.2 seconds. He is a beautiful white stallion, and he fetched a mouth-watering $2.1 million at the 2018 Heritage Place Fall Mix Sale Auction, which is the house record. Amazingly, his children went off to become successful racehorses as well. Giraffe Horse And finally, we've reached our number one on the list and what could very well be the weirdest horse you'll ever see in your life. I mean, a horse with giraffe spots? What kind of sorcery is this? We've stumbled upon this picture while researching for this video, and it's pretty wild, in every possible sense. But do you think this picture is real, or did someone work their Photoshop magic? It'd be pretty awesome if it was real. Frankel Price $3.5 million Frankel is a retired champion British thoroughbred racehorse. He's a brown bay horse with a white snip above the nose and white feet. Frankel was named after the famous trainer Bobby Frankel. Sheikh Mohammed paid more than $3.5 million for this glorious animal while on a visit to Tattersall's horse sales where he was caught in a bidding war. Frankel won all of the 14 races that he competed in and went on to become a stallion. Frankel's top earning son of all time, Ben Bottle, took more than $7 million of prize money during his career. Kamar Horse Seeing any horse galloping through the water is a sight to behold, but the Kamar horses you're seeing here really take it to the next level. Originating from the Kamar region in the south of France, the Kamar horses are one of the world's oldest horse breeds. Also known as the horses of the sea, they've been around for thousands of years. They usually stand at 13.1 to 14.3 hands at the withers and weigh 770 to 1,100 pounds. Rocky Mountain Horse The upcoming one, the Rocky Mountain Horse, is preferable for long distance riding because it is very calm and durable. Besides that, they are also widely used in farming as well as in transporting goods. What puts them aside and makes them intimidating is their alluring chocolate-like color as well as their inborn ambling gait that makes the ride more enjoyable for people. Rocky Mountain horses are well known for their capabilities that make strong bonds and relationships with people. Moreover, they can survive the abnormal winter conditions in mountains without problems. This breed is fast, faster than most other horse breeds. Usually, it is adorned with some specific features including durability and persistence but they can disappoint from time to time and become very lazy as a result of being overused. American Pharaoh Philly Price $8.2 million American Pharaoh is a legendary racehorse who won the Triple Crown in 2015. He was the first horse to win it at 37 years. Even after he retired, Pharaoh continued to set records via his offspring. A Philly sire by the 2015 Kentucky Derby winner sold for $8.2 million to the Whisper Hill Farm during the Keeneland Yearling Sale. A beautiful, tall brown racehorse with a dark mane and tail, it is the biggest amount a Philly has ever been sold for at a Keeneland sale since 2006. The owner says that she's special, born with muscle, and a champion mindset. This Philly has a half-brother, beholder, and many other award-winning siblings. Falabella Miniature I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure this little horsey is just the cutest thing ever. It's called the Falabella Miniature and it's the smallest horse breed on the planet. These horses can reach 8 hands maximum, but they're not ponies. Given their reduced proportions, they should only be ridden by small children, despite the fact that they're pretty strong for their size. 
Falabella mini horses come from Argentina and they're sought after by nobility for their unique characteristics, good nature, and intelligence. Hanoverian Horse The next horse breed comes from Germany. It is called the Hanoverian Horse. It was bred in the 16th century. This breed, according to lots of people, is one of the most beautiful and amazing breeds in the world. They are very friendly, smart, strong, and athletic, which qualified them for military service and also for some tough agricultural work throughout history. Hanoverians are very successful in a lot of competitions, ranking number one in international dressing competitions. Nowadays, thanks to industrialization, these horses are used less for working, but that didn't stop breeders from continuing to breed the Hanoverian horse. Because of their calmness, and approachable nature, they are often considered the first choice for people who enjoy pleasure riding. Monomoy Girl Price $9.5 million Even after winning the Eclipse Award, Monomoy Girl continued to ride herself into the thoroughbred industry's record books. She was sold for $9.5 million to Spendthrift Farm in an elite auction. She is an all-time superstar and did her job for a very long time without stopping. She was the American champion three-year-old filly in 2018 and champion of older female horses in 2020. This is her third comeback. She went back to her original owner, Brad Cox, to train for some time and then go to produce fantastic little racehorses. Fjord Horse The Fjord Horse comes from Norway. It's also one of the world's oldest breeds, descending from prehistoric horses. However, the breed wasn't formally established until the 20th century. The appearance of these horses has changed over time, mainly their coat coloring. They don't look like many other breeds in that they are a blend of draft horse muscling and bone, with a smaller size and greater agility. Fjord horses have strong, arched necks, sturdy legs, and muscular bodies. They're usually around 13.25 to 14.75 hands tall, and they weigh 770 to 992 pounds. Icelandic Horse Concluding by the name of it, the Icelandic Horse originates from Iceland. Allegedly, Scandinavians brought this horse breed to Iceland during the Viking Age. Often, Icelandic horses are regarded as symbols of fertility. These horses are probably one of the most durable of all time. You would have guessed they're probably accommodated to the never-ending winter. But they did not only survive many harsh winters, but they also survived a few volcanic eruptions. Apart from other horses, this breed has two unique gaits likely developed as a result of DNA mutation. The first one contributes to the smooth ride since one leg is always touching on the ground, while the second gait accelerates the speed and is performed while both feet on the same side touch the ground at the same time, which makes the horse run human-like. Would you have the courage to try riding this horse that is capable of unexpected acceleration? Songbird Price $9.5 million Songbird is a retired American thoroughbred racehorse who won the Eclipse Award two times. She has won 13 races, 9 of them were in prestigious grade 1. Songbird is a true champion. And like a lot of other great horses, she was sold to the Whisper Hill Farm for $9.5 million. The pinnacle of her career was in the beginning when she won her first 11 races in, followed by the much anticipated showdown with Notorious Beholder in which she suffered her first defeat. The race was close to the very end and she missed triumph by a head bob. Yakushin If there's one thing that makes Yakushin horses stand out from the rest, it's their ability to reduce their metabolism during long winters and still stand on their feet. This behavior is called standing hibernation and no other horses do it. If it wasn't for this unique ability, Yakushins may have never survived. And if it wasn't amazing enough already, they have the ability to effectively find food in deep snow. As for their appearance, Yakushin horses have a short stature, a dense muscular build, and long hair with a thick undercoat. They look fluffy and adorable, don't they? Pure Puerto Rican Paso Fino The pure Puerto Rican Paso Fino is a very refined yet powerful breed. It has a convex head, a short back with prominent withers, a thick mane, and tail. The breed comes in a variety of colors, with and without markings, and it ranges in size from 13 to 15 hands. The Puerto Rican Paso Fino has a unique genetic trait that no other horse breed has. It's called Tiger Eye, an autosomal recessive genetic trait that produces a yellow, amber, or orange colored iris in the eye. Pure Spanish Breed Wow, from a magnificent Icelandic horse to a pure Spanish one. A true delicacy for all the equestrians out there. Pure Spanish horses, also known as Andalusian horses, come from Spain. They have ancient ancestors, wild horses, who typically inhabited the Iberian Peninsula and even northern Africa. 
they're extremely strong and have enviable stamina, being adequate for lots of services, ranging from war, racing, hunting, and agriculture. Additionally, they're intelligent and fast learners. Most Andalusian horse breeds are gray, and just a small percentage of them are black or brown. Some of them have white patches on them, which were considered a sign of good or bad luck, as well as horses' characteristics. In modern days, they are used for a variety of competitions, especially racing, thanks to their speed, but they also kept their use in mounted bullfighting even to this day. Seattle Dancer Price $13.1 million Seattle Dancer held a record for the priciest horse for a long time. He was sold as a yearling in an auction in 1985 for $13.1 million to a group of owners. He didn't win that many races, but he passed his genes on to 37 race winning horses. His pedigree rubbed on his whole family tree as he is the starter of one of the most sought after horse dynasties. In 2003, he was sold again to a German consortium for research, the good kind of research. The consortium is funded by a syndicate that pools resources to acquire expensive horses and try to replicate the results and possible offspring. Banker Horse No, this horse won't loan you some money, it's just what the breed is called. As to why these horses are called that, it's because they come from domesticated Spanish Mustang horses that were most likely brought to America in the 16th century by explorers and left on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. These horses are small, hardy, and have a pretty docile temperament. They reach 13 to 14.3 hands in height and weigh from 800 to 1,000 pounds. Banker horses are known to have broad foreheads, pretty long manes, deep narrow chests, and a low set tail. Moreland Statilis Price $9.5 to $15 million. Totillas is a celebrity among racehorses. He is the only dressage horse on this list. He won the FEI Dressage World Cup final three times and he was a champion throughout his life being the first racehorse ever to win a score above 90 in dressage competitions. He is famed because of his exceptional movements and discipline to easily learn and execute routines. Aside from the dressage, he won trophies in a range of diverse other leagues. His sale was part of a great drama because he was set to represent the Netherlands in the 2012 Olympic Games because of his immaculate record, but he was sold to a German breeder for an undisclosed amount estimated to be between 9.5 and 15 million. Carolina Marsh Tacky The Carolina Marsh Tacky can only be found in South Carolina. It's one of the world's most endangered horse breeds with just 400 of them left. These horses range in size from 13.2 to 15 hands and weigh from 700 to 900 pounds. As for their appearance, it's worth noting that they have quite long manes and tails, with some exhibiting primitive markings such as dorsal stripes or even zebra leg striping. Bashkir Curly Bashkir curly horses are a unique breed that has been on the earth for centuries. They are well known for their curly coats, which can range from light waves to tight curls. This breed is quite popular among horse devotees due to its intelligence and mild nature. Unfortunately, the Bashkir curly horse is a rare breed and is in danger of becoming extinct. This is mainly because it is not widely acknowledged by horse registries. As a result, the Bashkir Curly is not widely bred, and the population is decreasing. It's a pity that this breed isn't more widely recognized and appreciated. Bashkir Curly horses are a stunning breed, full of character and brilliance. We should do our best to promote and rescue this breed so that coming generations can relish its unique beauty and personality. Lusitano While we're talking about horses that originate from the Iberian Peninsula, how can we skip the famous Louisitano? One of the most amazing horse breeds out there, it is also known as purebred Lusitano and it originates from Portugal. The most shocking thing about this breed is that it's been around since 20,000 BC judging by the cave paintings. They are very affectionate towards people and can make unbreakable ties with their owners, unlike some other breeds. They are exceptionally composed and even tempered, which makes them favorable for most riders. A lot of people claim that they're most comfortable for riding and most suitable for ones who have back problems. Winning several titles at international competitions makes them one of the most successful horses. Gypsy Vanner This next breed, however, isn't as gentle. Gypsy Vanner horses are becoming more and more popular and favored in the past couple of years. With their distinctive coloring, beautiful feathering, thick tails, and manes, it's easy to understand why this breed is so popular among enthusiasts.
However, although they're worthy of admiration in every way, there are some disadvantages to owning this particular breed. The first problem is the price. These horses are far from cheap, with prices ranging anywhere between $5,000 and $50,000. Moreover, Gypsy Vanners require a lot of care and attention. They require frequent grooming, hoof trim, and vet care, all of which can add up pretty fast. Finally, there is a matter of character. While these horses are typically gentle, they can be tough to manage and demand a skilled rider. This means they may not be a right fit for beginners, so be careful if you're considering Gypsy Vanner as your first horse. Palubet de Along, price $15 million. Palubet de Along is a French horse who competed in show jumping. She came from a famous horse family tree, so she had attention from the beginning. During her long career, she had multiple jaw-dropping performances. Paired with a Swiss rider, Janika Sprunger, she was unstoppable. She didn't win any major competitions, but she was in a stallion bracket where she competed with male horses. Even being in that league is outstanding. In 2013, she was bought off for $15 million by Jan Tops, a legendary show jumper who gave her as a gift to his wife, Edwina Tops Alexander, also a rider. Being that pricey for a non-racing horse is a feat in itself. Nabstrupper Horse Our next horse breed also comes from Europe and goes by the name Nabstrupper. These exceptional horses come from Denmark and their uniqueness lies mostly in their pattern and coloring. These beauties can be proud of their stripes and spots on light colored coats. Nabstrippers can also be proud of their versatility and stamina, alongside their temper, which is very friendly, making this breed extremely popular and suitable for numerous purposes. They can be used for riding, driving, as well as show jumping. They have a muscular and compact build, defined by a strong neck and expressive head. They're considered very intelligent and trainable, and their ability to perform well in numerous disciplines only adds to their value. Choctaw Horse The Choctaw Horses are named after the Choctaw tribe that bred them after they were brought to America in the early 16th century. These horses are highly regarded in their culture. They symbolize wealth, glory, honor, and prestige. This very rare breed of horses range in height from 13.2 to 14.2 hands and come in all colors, although pinto patterns are by far the most common. Choctaw horses are stocky, strong, and their heads have a straight profile. They also have full manes and tails. Shire Horse Another large horse breed that is an all-in-one horse is the Shire breed. This is one of the largest breeds to ever walk the planet Earth, and they are of course mostly known for their large size and the strength that comes with it. They were traditionally used for heavy farm work such as hauling and plowing, but nowadays these beauties are more and more often used for driving and riding. Shires have a gentle and docile personality, which helps them become more popular for shows and rides rather than carrying heavy loads. They have a unique build, which is distinctive due to their muscular body, long tail, and mane. And the most popular feature, feathering on their legs, they can most often be found in bay, black, or chestnut color, making them even more appealing to the eye and soul. The Green Monkey, price $16 million. The Green Monkey is the biggest what if story in the horse racing world. It is something like, what if Derrick Rose didn't get injured after his MVP season? This horse was sold for an opening bid of $500,000, but incredibly, Randy Hartley and Dan DiRenzo sold him for $16 million only 7 months later because both his parents were winning horses. The Green Monkey was a once in a lifetime horse, strong, smart, disciplined, and tame. But he could never live up to the expectations of the price tag due to an illness called laminitis. Przewalski's Horse Not only is our next breed as large as the Shire Horses, but they're also considered the last remaining wild horse species in the entire world. The Przewalski Horse, also known as the Mongolian Wild Horse, is a rare and endangered breed of horse native to Mongolia. It is considered to be a unique ancestor of all modern domestic horses, although Przewalski's horses are somewhat smaller and stockier than the domestic ones. They share multiple genes with many popular breeds that live in our timeline. Przewalski horses have a unique appearance which is distinctive because of their short, upright manes, thick necks, as well as their compact build. They are very strong and are able to survive in extremely arid environments. 
Brzezowski's were, unfortunately, almost extinct during the 20th century. But thankfully, this didn't happen thanks to successful breeding and conservation efforts done by numerous organizations. Nowadays, this fantastic breed is considered a symbol of conservation and is protected by international law. Taraya Horse As cute as Falabellas are, let's move on to something else. The Soraya Horse is maybe the least known horse on our list. This breed originates in Portugal and is believed to be a descendant of the wild European horses. Moreover, scientists speculate that Sarayas could actually be the base breed for numerous modern horse breeds, including Andalusian and Lusitano horses. This interesting breed is characterized by their strength, stamina, and steadiness. They also stand out from the crowd due to their unique physical appearance, which includes a large mane, thick and bushy tail, as well as the convex profile. Nevertheless, the most distinguishing feature of this breed is their dancing gait, which is a smooth and rhythmic run walk, making this horse a real sight to behold. Unfortunately, they're considered endangered species with no more than a couple of hundred horses remaining in the world. Gotland Pony This cute horse eating his lunch belongs to a breed named Gotland Pony or Gotland Russ, which is the only breed of pony native to Sweden. Gotland ponies have a light and narrow build with sloping quarters and a low set tail and they usually stand anywhere between 11.1 to 12.3 hands at the withers. They're strong and hardy but they can only be ridden by children and small adults. Fusaichi Pegasus, price $72 million. This is the big leagues of horses, but Fusaichi Pegasus is in a league of his own. His father was Mr. Prospector, the sire of sires. He was purchased by Fusao Sekiguchi for $4 million as a yearling. Fusaichi is a combination of his owner's name, Fusao, and the Japanese word for one, Ichi, meaning the best. After winning the Kentucky Derby in 2000, Fusaichi Pegasus was bought by Ashford Stud and used for one more race before going off to the biggest horse auction ever. The breeders were so optimistic for his future because of his performance that a Japanese horse breeding facility had a stake in him. How you divide a horse into shares, I don't know. Finally, Fusaichi was sold for $70 million to an Irish breeder, Lac Lacroix Indian Pony. The Lac Lacroix Indian Pony, also known as the Ojibwe Pony, is thought to be the only existing horse breed developed by a First Nations people in Canada. It's a rare breed with only about 200 of them left in the world. At one point, their population became critically low with only four mares remaining. So, to preserve the breed, these mares were crossed with Spanish Mustang stallions. These horses were traditionally used for transporting supplies, especially in the winter months and across frozen water, which allowed them to develop unique traits such as small whale-haired ears and nostril flaps that are able to tighten in cold weather. They stand at 12 to 14.2 hands tall. Black Forest Horse The Black Forest Horse comes from Germany and is approximately a 600-year-old breed. Same as other horses, it is used for a variety of purposes, including agriculture, forestry, and riding. German people relied on this breed for a few centuries, but unfortunately, the Black Forest Horse is now not far from extinction. It is considered endangered, and there are only 700 of them registered. The chestnut-colored horse is particularly elegant, which distinguishes it from most other breeds. And not only can it be used for riding, but for driving as well. It is expected that the demand for Black Forest horses would drop due to industrialization and new mechanisms applied to agriculture and transport. But no one would have predicted they would be endangered. We hope that these numbers are going to rise because of their high fertility rate mixed with careful breeding. Morgan Horse which shows two incredibly beautiful horses. On the right, you can see the breathtaking Appaloosa, which we'll talk about in a minute. And on the left, you have a Morgan horse. Look how tall this Morgan horse is. This is the earliest horse breed developed in the US with its foundation sire figure and their godfather, the first owner, Justin Morgan. Morgans have been a big part of American history since the 19th century. They were being used as coach horses, for racing, as transportation, and even as cavalry horses during the Civil War on both sides. The Sable Island Horse The Sable Island Horses are small feral horses that can only be found on Sable Island, which is an island just off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. They're pony size, which is why they're sometimes referred to as Sable Island Ponies. But, they have a horse phenotype and also horse ancestors. These horses were first released on the island in the late 18th century, but they quickly became feral. They were on the verge of extinction in the 1950s. That's why the Canadian government protected them by law in their feral state, and in 2008, the breed was declared the official horses of Nova Scotia. 
They generally stand between 13 and 14 hands tall and weigh around 660 pounds. Sable Island horses have very shaggy coats, manes, and tails, especially during the winter. As for their coats, they're mostly dark in colors, but some tend to have wide markings. Frisian Horse It shows a beautiful, black muscular horse running through the dust. What breed could this be? This level of gracefulness can only be linked to a few breeds. It turns out that this is a Frisian Horse, arguably one of the most amazing horse breeds in the world. They mostly come in black color, and they're perceived as very courageous, powerful, and their specific traits include unusually long manes and tails. They originate from the Netherlands, as suggested by their name, precisely in the province of Friesland. They're not so fast, nor can they jump high, but that's all compensated by their mesmerizing beauty and elegance. And as for that, they're often used in a lot of festivals, ceremonial events, and competitions, being immensely photogenic. They're frequently used in movies as well. The South German Coldblood With a name such as Coldblood, you can guess what kind of horses we're talking about here. Their appearance is impressive to say the least, with their large boned, strong, and muscular body. The most common colors of the South German Coldbloods are brown and chestnut with light colored long hair. Contrary to what their name might suggest, they have a particularly calm character and are very family friendly, which makes them ideal therapy horses. These horses are on average 16 to 16.2 hands tall and weigh about 1,100 pounds. Appaloosa Horse Spotted Horse The amazing Appaloosa Spotted Horse. This is the most unique horse in the world. The prettiest horse out there. Look at that magnificent mane and stature. Besides being stunningly beautiful with diverse genetic patterns, it is the horse of champions. There's nothing that this horse is not suited for. Dressage, jumping, trekking, and racing. Besides that, they perform amazingly in all other disciplines. Appaloosa horses won every competition imaginable multiple times. Marwari Horse The Marwari Horse is a breed of horse originating from the Marwar region of India. These horses are known for their unique physical features, such as their inward turning ears and distinctive coat patterns. While these horses have been bred for centuries, they're now facing a number of challenges that threaten their future. The Marwari horse is a highly sought after breed with prices reaching up to $100,000. Unfortunately, this has made them a target for poachers and smugglers who are looking to make a quick profit. Additionally, the breed is facing a lack of resources and support from the government, as well as a lack of public awareness. This has led to a decrease in the number of Marwari horses, as well as a decrease in their quality. It is unfortunate that such a unique and historically significant breed of horse is facing so many challenges. Which of these horses would you like to breed and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below and hit that like button.